Once again, we're chatting with Otis Williams of The Temptations here on AM 1460, the new WXPR. You mentioned that 98% of the miniseries slash TV movie about The Temptations was true. What's one thing in the 2% that the movie got exponentially wrong based on your autobiography that kind of grinds your gears when you watch it played on TV to this day? Well, you know, I, the only we took what they call in the business, uh, we changed just a portion of it to make it ebb and flow better, you know. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, the bickering and the, the drinking and, and the arguments and what have you, we actually uh, lived through that, but that was just a little small bit. You know, one of the things that we changed that we felt as though we wanted Melvin to have his dignity uh, you know, when they showed about Melvin going into the kitchen, and that was it. Well, Melvin actually died in the hospital, you know, but we changed it because uh, we said we didn't want to show him with the tubes and all that that was, you know, uh, uh, you know, running through him. So we did just a little bit of changing. But other than that, uh, it, it's the truth. The movie was based on your autobiography. How much say and input did you have into the making of the miniseries, which ultimately became the TV movie? Well, I was one of the uh, executive, uh, co-executive producers of it, and uh, so I had uh, some uh, input uh, in it. But on a real side, a large, a large part of it is um, it was carried on without me because I was on the road doing a uh, big tour at the time. But I did go into Pittsburgh and I watched some scenes that were being shot and set up and what have you. So I had, uh, you know, a fingerprint over into it. But uh, like I said, a great amount of it, I, I was on a big tour, so I couldn't be there on a day-to-day -day basis to watch it. But, you know, it is taken from my book. And, uh, you know, so it is based on uh, that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I really am proud of it. Was it awkward for you being on set watching someone portraying you at pivotal moments in your life and career? There's a scene that uh, I found that uh, it was very touching. Now, um, the scene where as um, Charles Malik Whitfield, who played me, and D.B. Woodside, who played Melvin Franklin, and Leon, who played Melvin, I mean, who played um, uh, David Ruffin. Well, that scene where as Melvin and myself had to go to Mel uh, David's apartment to tell him to straighten up either we were going to get rid of him. So I'm standing in the shadows uh, waiting for the director to get all the right lighting, you know, in the right setting. And so Alan Arkus, the director, said, okay, action, camera, roll them. And when the young lady came out with the class board and did the little clap thing, and then when the brother started uh, delivering their line uh, to um, David, uh, I stood there in the shadow and I said, no, 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 I, I, can't, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Now, we're talking about 1998, and that scene, actually, what I was just telling you about, happened in 1998. Uh, 1967. So there's still a lot of raw emotion, even though it, you know it's uh, some decades that has since passed. But uh, yeah, it, it's still kind of raw in spots. Once again, we're chatting with Otis Williams.